Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how to use sessions with Connect Mongo? Let's break down the question. Our viewer has successfully set up Connect Mongo, but is unsure about defining and reading session data. They want to know how to store user information in sessions and retrieve it across different pages of their application. Additionally, they are curious about the storage location for sessions in MongoDB and whether they need to generate a unique secret key or if a predefined string will suffice. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To use sessions with Connect Mongo, we first need to set up our environment. Make sure you have Express, Mongoose, and Connect Mongo installed. Next, let's connect to our MongoDB database and configure the session middleware. Here's how you can do that. Now to define a user session when a user logs in, you can set the session user property. Here's an example of how to do that. To read the session values on other pages, simply access the session object. Here's how you can retrieve the user data. Finally, regarding where the session data is stored, Connect Mongo will store it in the specified MongoDB database. You do not need to define a separate database for sessions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use sessions with Connect Mongo, start by accessing the session data through the rick.session object. For example, you can set the user ID like this, session.userID equals rick.body.userID. By default, the session data is stored in a collection named Sessions. This helps keep your session information organized. Lastly, don't forget to set a session secret for security. You can find more information about this in the provided link. And that's it, guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you're able to get through your problem. If you did, guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.